So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at these Smith & Wesson M100-1 handcuffs. I paid $26.99 for the handcuffs. There was tax. It was $30 something dollars when I actually checked them out. So $30 for the handcuffs. Online, you can find different prices. You can find cheaper. You can find more expensive. It all depends on where you get them. I bought these in store. So $30 was how much I paid for them. It was $29. So round up $30. It's easier to say. So they come in a like cardboard style box with a clear thing right there for you to see the model of the handcuffs. So I do like that, that's kind of cool. Up top, you know, you can hang these on those little prong things so you can have 30 of these hanging up at once. On the side, you have the QR code of it. You have the Smith & Wesson logo right here, or the Smith & Wesson logo here with the name here. And then it says they're handcuffs. If you didn't know on the back just smith and wesson nothing too special on this um to open it you can go left or right i prefer going on the side is a smith and wesson and then this side you know it's gonna have the qr code uh i prefer to do it on this side this is the proper way to open it so if you guys open it do not open from the right side always open from the left so open it up it is just like one of them everyday cardboard box style things and in it, you have one and two keys. So you have two keys. And right here is a slot that says keys. So you know, hey, the keys go here. If you ever store it, the keys here. So I kind of like that. I like that they added a storage for the keys. So they're not in the bottom of the box, jingling around. You know, the keys, I really like where they put the keys. So to open it, you know, you can, it's there. Kind of pull down on here and push in. And it will pop this up. So now you're inside where the handcuffs are. I'm going to pull the instructions out first. So the instructions are on the back side, sitting right here. Sit that to the side, and we're going to look at the instructions. So as soon as you open up, you have Smith & Wesson handcuffs, restraints, chains, and leg irons. So I guess they have handcuffs, they have restraints, they have chains, and leg irons. Or restraint chains and leg irons. So they have three things that offer for a handcuff style thing. So in this, which I really like, it has handcuff maintenance, which is extremely good to have. Some people don't take care of it. A handcuff that lasts forever lasts a week. You know, that's that's kind of not true. You know, I'm sure that a handcuff is going to last a week, but you know what I'm saying. It won't last as long as it should if you take care of it. So here's the maintenance on it. If you guys have lost your paper, kind of screenshot this. I do recommend you guys follow the maintenance on these. So then you can open it up and it tells you more about the handcuff. So this tells you the safety, instruction manual for handcuffs, restraints, chains, leg irons, all the stuff like that. Tells you right here that it has a slot lock, it has a push pin lock, or a lever lock. So that is the three types you can get. I have a slot lock, I've had the push lock, and I've never had lever lock. I don't know how I feel about lever. Uh, push pin, standard, everybody's seen it. The slot lock, that's brand new, and that's what these handcuffs are. I don't, I don't know yet. I've never really... I like it. I do. It goes all the way through. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm going to have to use them a lot more and see if I like these compared to the other guns. Some people swear by these, so we'll see. So right here, if you guys want to know how the handcuff works, which I'm glad they added it, it has the jaw right here. So this is the jaw. It has the keyhole, the frame, the swivel, lever lock, slot lock, and then push pin lock, and then the cheek. So if you want to know the anatomy of the handcuff, right there it is. Here's the specifications. So for my M100s, it is a carbon steel, 10 ounce, and it is uh, Satan nickel, S-A-T-I-N nickel. And then you can get blue or black oxidized. So there's all the different kinds that you can get right here. So if you don't want to know your Pacific model, if you have any of these, just take a picture right there. That will tell you everything on yours. It tells you how to lock it. Tells you how to double lock it. Tells you how to lock it with the push pin and the lever and the lever lever. And then here's how you unlock it. So that's the instructions. The back of it tells you it's got a limited warranty. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. I had it there if you guys wanted to see it. So in the box, you have a slot. Handcuffs are spread apart. Pull them up. Got them by the chain. So holding the handcuffs, they're not light. Which is good, you know, it said that they're carbon steel, uh, then it's nickel or something like that is what you see. It's you think it'd be kind of light. 
they're not light. I mean, they're not extremely heavy, you know, solid, heavy, heavy, but they're hefty. You know, these, you throw them at somebody, you're going to hurt somebody. So, yes, I've had these out of the box. I've played with them. I probably uh, did that, you know, pushed them through probably at least 15 times. So that's still not enough to break them in, I guess, if you can break them in. You know, I'm not a professional handcuff person. I'm getting there. So I bought these. Um, I think you can break them in, I guess, to make them more smooth. But here it is. Here's the front of it. Keyhole. That right there is where you lock it. All of that right there. Side. I'm trying to give you guys like a little video of it. So to open it, you're going to take and just twist in. I'm trying to just show you guys how. So right there, it was kind of kind of tough, but I think that I don't know. Usually it's not. You can see, I mean, it, it's it's definitely it's definitely a smooth handcuff. I didn't do it good enough. That's why I locked that snot on the handcuff. That was my bad. You know, I didn't really push it good enough. So as you can see, it's a smooth handcuff. Some of the handcuffs when you do it, I, don't know, I didn't even mean to do it. Some of them will lock right here. Some of them lock right here. Some of them won't even. Some of them will have to go, and you have to just continue to push. So the handcuffs are extremely smooth. That would be, depending on how you put it on, right or left, probably right. Then we'll go left. See if the left is the same. Left. So these handcuffs are smooth. I do like it. They're not, you know, they got the nice handcuff sound that everybody loves. Smooth handcuffs so far. They're put. They're doing good. Weight of them. I like the weight. I like the smoothness of them. So far, these handcuffs are not a bad pair of handcuffs. So the keys, what I was worried about, and I have the same one of these, an older version though, and I was scared that the keys, uh, and especially working at the jail and stuff like that, everybody's got a different key. Well, everybody's got a key, but a different version. Some people might have a key like this, longer key. All keys should be the same, but I was scared because most of the time you'll see that the double lock is right here so i knew this would probably still fit but double locking what if they changed it and so i took my old key and i was able to double lock it and unlock it and everything like that so just because it has this does not mean your old keys will not work every key still works the same i was scared it looks like this one is flatter in my head and i was like uh oh what if my old keys don't work got it home my old keys for the ones that was back here still works that's good so I'm going to open it up and we're just going to lock it right there. So to double lock it, you take it in and you put it behind. So I don't know if you guys can see right there in the middle of it, you see a line. Take it, put it behind that line. Oh, I'm sorry. Put it in front of the line and no, sorry again. Yeah, I was correct the first time. It had a little bit of resistance kind of because I didn't push hard. I was trying to show kind of do it all and so I didn't push hard enough. That's on me. So put it behind the thing. So if you see the keyhole, so right there's the keyhole, put it behind this and then push forward towards the keyhole. So on this one, I did here. So here's the keyhole, put it behind and push to the end of the keyhole or end to the keyhole. So now both cuffs are locked. So no matter how hard I push, the cuffs are locked. So that is good for resistance. Uh, say an inmate is trying to escape this cuff is going to tighten up or maybe not even escape. Maybe they're just sitting there and they accidentally bump their leg uh, and then it's going to tighten it up and then it's going to be digging in. You have to go through court and then you have to get them and undo it. So double locking it means you're not going to have to worry about this tightening up on them, mate. You put it on, put your finger in there, see how tight it is. It's good. Double lock it. You don't have to worry about it tightening up. You don't have to worry about it unlocking. So double locking. If you don't have a pair of double locking cuffs, I would throw them away. They're not, they're not good. I mean, especially if you're playing with them, okay. If you're going to be using them, get a pair of double lock because you do not want these tightening up on an inmate and you have to cut them off of the inmate or something. So to unlock it or to double unlock it and then unlock it, you take it, you put it in and you will twist to the right. So twist and you'll feel kind of like a resistance. And when you do, then you can feel that you can twist the cuff all the way in. So if the cuff is double locked you can or if there's nothing in there you can just do it like that now if you want to open it if somebody's hands inside of here which i'll show you say somebody's hand is now inside what do you do you twist it to the left 
and it will open up. Twist it all the way to the left. So it definitely has a lot of twists to go. So right here it is. So that's directly in the middle. So we're going to twist. Oh, twist. That pulls the thing down. So you have a little bit of twist in the go. And then, you know, so if you guys, you guys want these handcuffs, I think you should go get them. These handcuffs, I think, are a beginner style handcuff. And what I mean by beginner is I think these are great for starting out. Um, they're $26, so not going to break the bank. Um, and they're really well-made handcuffs. You know, you ain't got to worry about them. And even if your department or you want a more expensive handcuff, I think you should still buy these pair. Because, again, you're not going to break the bank. And you always need a second pair of handcuffs. You may buy an $80 pair of handcuffs, and these may outdo them. Or you may buy those $80 pair of handcuffs and they may malfunction. You need a good set of reliable handcuffs. And I do believe that these are those handcuffs. You know, I would definitely, I'd, may, I'd buy a really nice set of handcuffs. And then I would definitely have these as my secondary handcuffs. And I mean, some people would rock these as their primary handcuffs. And there's nothing wrong with that. These are great primary handcuffs. You know, the only reason you may not want them. You may think, oh, they're $26. They're not like my friend has. He has a $100 pair or he has a $30, an $80 pair. These these handcuffs are really well made. I mean, listen to the sound. I love the sound of this. Hang on, let me get it out. I mean, they sound good. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with these handcuffs. They look good. They're a classic style handcuff. Some departments, you know, I mean, may vary though. Some may not allow you to carry Smith & Wesson. They may have to have you carrying Peerless or uh, ASAP or ASP. I mean, there's so many other brands, but nobody can go wrong with Smith & Wesson. Smith and Wesson. I was thinking of something else that my friend said today. Uh, Smith & Wesson. I mean, I have uh, five people that I have talked to today at my department, and they all carry this handcuff. They have a black version uh, of this handcuff, and they carry the black version. I prefer the steel-colored version. It looks better. It's original. I, handcuffs, they spin. Look how smooth. I mean, look at that. You ain't got to work. I mean, that right there spins so freely. I, I mean, this is smooth. I mean, spinning, they got this thing on some really smooth whatever's inside here to make it spin. They got it on really smooth. This, there is, I mean, you can see that there's a little bit of tension, which is good, though, I believe. And then, I mean, but it's not enough. I mean, again, you can do this. Hang on. You know, you can do that. So it's not a crazy amount of tension, but, you know, you can't just barely push and expect it to go. And so right there, that's quite a bit of tension. Right there it is as well. But if you get it right in that sweet spot, I mean, you can just, again, do that. So they're really smooth handcuffs. I do recommend these handcuffs. If you guys want a pair, Smith & Wesson M100-100. These handcuffs are, these are my first handcuffs that I bought five years ago. Uh, those pair messed up for reasons that I'll describe in another video and I had to buy me a pair of these. And it wasn't the handcuff error, it was a user error with bolt cutters. So, you know, obviously they're gonna mess up if you cut them. So I had to buy me another pair and I bought these and I love them. I really do. I love Smith & Wesson. I love everything about it. I'm really starting to grow liking this. Even the people I talk to that owns these, they like this just as good as they like that. So handcuffs, I rate them for handcuffs. I'm going to give them a 9.9. .9. I mean, almost a 10. I mean, I think that a 10, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to give these a 9 at least, or 9.5. These are 9.5 handcuffs in my book. So I'm definitely going to do a review of these being used, um, everything like that. I might do some tests with them and stuff, see how they really put up to the test. But I think these handcuffs are going to be great. I, what I may do is I may put them on something and pull them apart and see how much pull up power or how much they can withhold you know put this to a uh, one of them things that pull and this one on something sturdy and see how much pressure it takes to break it or i might do i might do something like that so you guys can see how good of handcuffs these are i think they withstand quite a bit of stuff really well made not extremely heavy but heavy enough where you're like man these are solid handcuffs again 9.5 love the handcuffs i'll put a link in the description where you can buy them